1957, in the bustling city of Houston, Texas, four visionary airport industry executives came together with a shared purpose. Colonel Vincent Carson, James F. Byrne, Ed Petro, and Wilfred Wiley Post saw the need to cultivate educational opportunities on a local level and to embed the principles of AAAE within the Northeast region. On September 12, 1958, this fledgling organization held its first meeting at New York International Airport. Commonly known then as Idlewild, but today as John F. Kennedy International. During this historic gathering, the first officers were elected. President Vincent A. Carson, New York, New York. Vice President John W. McFarlane, New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Treasurer Douglas C. Wolfe, Teterboro, New Jersey. Secretary James F. Byrne, Boston, Massachusetts. A year later, in 1959, at the chapter's first semi-annual meeting in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the chapter's bylaws and constitution were formally adopted. Recognizing a need for professional development, the chapter's leadership turned their attention to a critical issue for northern airports, snow removal. In 1967, Wiley Post, then airport manager of Allentown Bethlehem Airport in Pennsylvania, joined forces with Colonel Bernd Balkin to establish the International Snow Symposium. In 1978, seeing a further need for expertise in emergency response, the first Crash Fire Rescue School was established. This initiative would eventually evolve into the Northeast Chapter ARF School. In 1983, a significant transition took place as Russell Hoyt, the original president of AAAE, retired and assumed the role of the Northeast Chapter's executive secretary. His leadership and experience would guide the chapter through a new decade. The mid-90s saw groundbreaking strides in gender representation within the chapter's leadership. In 1995, Barbara Patzner made history as the first female board member, serving as secretary. The following year, Elaine Roberts joined the board as treasurer. In 1997, Barbara Patzner ascended to the role of chapter president, and as the first female chapter president, she paved the way for Elaine Roberts to assume the role of the second female chapter president in 1998. That same year, the chapter welcomed its third female executive, Jean Olivier, as secretary. Following in her predecessor's footsteps, Jean Olivier became chapter president in 2000. In 2000, the first ever Hub Winter Operations and De-Icing Conference was held in partnership with AAAE. In 2015, a new period in the history of aviation conferences began. The Northeast chapter embarked on a journey to co-manage the prestigious Hershey Airports Conference. This edition marked the fourth conference under the chapter's umbrella. Year after year, this conference has drawn numerous FAA professionals from the Eastern region, becoming a cornerstone event in the aviation industry. In 2024, this tradition expanded its territory to include the New England region, further solidifying its legacy as a premier forum for aviation excellence. The year 2020 brought an unprecedented challenge to the world, COVID-19. Under the steadfast leadership of President Carl Braley, the Northeast chapter swiftly adapted. With in-person events canceled, the organization transitioned to monthly Zoom calls, creating a virtual gathering space for airports to navigate the ever-evolving impact of the pandemic. As 2021 dawned, it marked a year of recovery for the chapter, with Carl Braley continuing his presidency for a second term. 
the year 2021 also marked another significant milestone with the official launch of the Northeast Chapter's Young Professional Program. Under the capable guidance of then Vice President Melinda Montgomery, born amidst the challenges of COVID-19, the Young Professionals Program aimed to share stories of resilience and to create networking opportunities for its members. Building on this momentum, the chapter developed its NEC Certified Young Professional Program, recognizing individuals who achieved distinction across five key pillars. Six certified young professionals have been honored so far, and this initiative has now expanded nationally to AAAE as the Aviation Emerging Leader Achievement Program. Recognizing an evolving cultural landscape and the importance of fostering inclusivity, the chapter introduced its fifth conference, partnering again with AAAE to launch the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Conference in 2023. Under the direction of President Zachary Sundquist, the NEC and AAAE held the inaugural DEI conference in Syracuse, New York. Building on a long standing commitment to professional development, in June of 2024, the chapter held its first ever leadership symposium under the guidance of President Darren Large. The Leadership Symposium catered to young professionals from both airport and corporate partners within the Northeast Chapter. Today, the Northeast Chapter is a thriving organization with over 300 members, including representation from Eastern Canadian provinces and Europe. It has continued to focus on those regional issues impacting aviation in Northeast while participating in national issues via AAAE headquarters. The chapter's commitment to education and leadership is stronger than ever and will continue well into the future.